everyone, welcome to our talk on an introduction to the urine industry. I'm Nirali and I study actuarial science with the urine industry and I'm in my final year. I'm Kasturi, I study financial maths with the urine industry and I'm also in my final year. So firstly, how does a degree improve employability? So one of the main things is that it's something to put on your CV to explain your educational background. But whilst also at university getting your degree, you gain other skills such as academic and corporate skills, which include confidence, time management and also teamwork. You also gain independence whilst you're doing your, um, doing your degree as many people move out for university. Also during university, you have loads of networking opportunities. So for example, at our university, we have loads of careers fairs organised by the careers and employabilities team. So this is a chance to speak to different companies who are in the industry that you want to work in and find out about applying for jobs there and how you can enter their company. So what is a year in industry? A year in industry is a paid year-long work placement with an organisation. It's an opportunity to gain quality work experience before graduating. And it's also a chance to try out a role in an industry you're in interested in. So for example, say if you're interested in working in risk, you can apply for, for years, years in industry in risk and try that out before you graduate. But say if you want, Say if you did that year in industry and risk and you didn't enjoy it, then that's also okay because then you know that's something that you're not interested in and you wouldn't be applying for those kind of roles when you're in your final year and looking for graduate roles. The year in industry programme is open to any student on a SIMSAS degree programme apart from those studying maths with secondary education. It doesn't matter whether you're domestic or international, you can still apply, and it's a great way to stand out when applying for graduate roles. How does the urine industry affect your degree? When you join, your first and second year at Kent will be similar to all the year all the other students who are not doing the year in industry. However, instead of carrying on to study your third year, you will instead take a paid work placement with an employer and after the year-long placement, you will return in your fourth year to complete your final year of study. The year in industry counts for 10% of your final grade. Your second year will be 35%. The third year, which is your placement year, will account for 10% of your degree and your final year will account for 55% of your degree. How does the urine industry contribute to your degree? Even though you will be out of the university, you will still be required to complete coursework for the university. This will include monthly blog entries. During your placement, at the end of every month, you will, you will be required to submit a blog to the School of Maths and Statistics Placement Support Team, accounting for the work you have done during the past month, all the all the activities that you have learned, the training you have undertaken, and it will just be a way to account for the skills you have acquired during the month. This will be done every month for the entire year. You will also be required to create a poster, and eight months into your placement, you will be required to come back to the university and present a poster on the work you have learned and all the achievements you have made so far. If you will be working internationally, you will be required to do a Skype video to present your poster. Finally, you will be required to write a report on your experiences. This will be the last coursework that you have to complete on your placement and will and will be submitted at the end of your placement. There will also be an evaluation which will be performed by your manager and yourself and this will also contribute to your degree, the 10%. So here are some of the companies that our students have gone on to complete the year in industry. So as you can see, there's a huge range of companies ranging from Disney, Converse and Universal to even the big four, including PwC and Deloitte. Finding a placement. 
It will be your responsibility to find your placement during your first and second year of uni. However, there are quite a few websites online where you could look for placements. This includes Target Jobs, Milkround, LinkedIn, because quite a few of companies will put their position openings on these websites. You will also have the placement support team who will send you all these updates via email or they will also create a Facebook group and they will put all these job openings on the Facebook page and you can have a look and see whichever places you're interested in applying to. So in terms of the support and guidance provided by the School of Maths, um, during stage one you have a dedicated placements office where you have the placement manager, which is Nikki, and Francis, who will help you with anything placement related. So during stage one, we have weekly, weekly workshops where you'll have the opportunity to take headshots for your LinkedIn profile, and they'll also help you set up your LinkedIn profile. As LinkedIn is a great way to find jobs, this is a great thing to do as there's loads of placement opportunities on LinkedIn. There's also the placement careers fairs where companies will come in with their current placement students and tell you about their placement program. So you're informed about the placement program with these companies before you apply in second year. Also during stage one, there's the two day boot camp. So during these two days, you have the opportunity to attend an assessment center, do group activities and have interviews with careers and employability team. So by doing this two-day boot camp, you experience in the application process and they also provide you with feedback and areas that you can improve on. So when you are applying in second year, you also you know what the application process is going to be like, so you're not thrown into the deep end with no knowledge of how to answer questions in an interview, how to do an assessment centre, for example. Stage two. This is the year where you have to send out majority of your applications if you would like to do a placement year. During the term, you will be attending weekly workshops with the SAMSAS support team and they will assist you with your CV, writing cover letters and guide you on completing your placement applications. You will also have the opportunity to have one-to-one -one meetings with the placement team and ask for any help or ask for advice that you may need on applying for placements. You will, get you will receive regular updates of jobs available either through email or on the Facebook group. During the year, you will also have the chance to attend the poster fair. This is where the students that are currently on placement here will come to the university and present to you about the work they do at their company and the application process. So it will give you a good idea of when you need to apply by and what companies are looking for in students. There is also a careers and placements fair, like Kasturi mentioned, where companies will come with their students and talk to you about the positions available. SAMSAS keeps in regular contact with the placement students, and if you're not yet registered on the Year in Industry program, you can still sign up in first year during the welcome week. So during your year in industry, though you may not be here physically at the university as a student, you're still a member of the university and current union. So for these reasons, you may still be entitled to a student loan. Obviously, it's not going to be as much as you would get, say, if you were on campus, because you are earning that salary, but it is something to help you get along during placement year. In terms of tuition fees, it's significantly reduced for all students during the placement year. The tuition fees for this year are under £2,000 for the year in industry. After your year in industry, it is noted that more than 85% of the students that go on a placement graduate with a first class honours in their degree and this is not the only advantage of going on a year in industry. There's also a sense of improved time management. This is because during your placement year you're used to working 8 to 5 or 9 to 6 and therefore when you come back to university in your final year you already have such a strict work ethic and you can 
plan your activities much better, you're a lot more organized in a way that you're able to complete all your assessments and coursework well before the deadline. And during the year in industry, you may have had to complete a variety of presentations to your team. And therefore, coming back, you have a lot more confidence. And the best part is you, get, you earn a salary for working. So benefits of a year in industry. The main benefit is that you, you gain relevant work experience in the industry that you'd like to work in. And it's also a way to make your CV stand out from the crowd. So when applying for graduate roles, every graduate is going to have a degree, but not every graduate is going to have that year's worth of experience. So it's a great way to stand out. And it's also something to talk about in interviews when you are applying for these roles. Another th benefit is um, many of our placement students actually get offered graduate roles at the end of their placement. So in your final year, when your peers may be applying for graduate roles, you may not have to worry about that because that's already sorted for you. And also another benefit is the salary. So salaries can range from £17,500 to the highest being £35,000. So £35,000 thousand pounds is quite rare but some companies do offer this amount so it's a great way to earn some money. These are a few career paths you can enter with a degree in maths or actuarial science. You can start off by becoming an actuary, an investment banker, you can enter the financial services um, industry or you can even enter the media or automotive industry. There are a lot of other opportunities. For example, you can become a researcher, a teacher, accountant. You're not limited to the industries you can enter with this degree. Where have some of our students been on placement? This is Laura. She was the commercial business analyst in the parts and accessories department at Clear Cars. This is Chloe. She was a math student and she worked at Fremantle Media as a research intern. This is Susanna. She was a finance intern at NBC Universal. This is Macaulay. He worked at Paracel as a statistical programmer. This year we also had another student, Anne, who also worked at Paracel in the same role. This is my this is the place where I worked at UPS as a risk management assistant. I started off in risk because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And then after the 11 months, I went on to complete an actuarial internship at AIG as I wanted to experience working in both the divisions. And after the 12 months, I was able to see that I did in fact want to become an actuary. And I would also like to point out that the year in industry really helped me improve on my confidence, especially when I was going for interviews for the internships, the actuarial internships. Therefore, I would suggest that the placement here really does help you improve your employability in the future. This is Brenda. She was the actuarial intern at a pension protection fund. This is Puvan, who was an actuarial intern in the life insurance team at Aviva. This is Zoe, she was the pricing analyst at RSA. This is Heba, she is an international student and she had the opportunity of working at Afrasia, a bank in Mauritius during her placement year as a market risk trainee. So you're not only limited to working in the UK, in fact you can find a placement anywhere in the world as long as it has the right terms and you're paid for it. This is Rashid, he worked for JDE as a finance intern. This is Sue. She was a data analyst at Cummins. This is my placement. So I worked at Busy Bees Nurseries as their junior accounts assistant. My story is actually quite different because I initially started working for another nursery company, Mace Montessori. But on my second day of working there, I found out about the takeover by Busy Bees, so this essentially made me redundant of my placement and I wasn't sure what was going to happen with my placement, but luckily with the help of the placement team at the University of Kent, um, I managed to extend my contract with Busy Bees. So 
to continue my placement, I actually had to relocate from London to Birmingham, and the placement team really helped me with the relocation process. They helped me find accommodation, and um, during when I had moved, usually you get two visits from two academic staff, but because I had moved, I got an extra visit from Nikki just to make sure that I was settling in at Busy Bees, because I've never moved to... I've never been to Birmingham. It was a completely new environment. So the support that you get from the placement team is invaluable. And even though you're not at university, you still feel like you're there because they're constantly checking up on you and they don't just throw you out into the working world and forget about you for the year. They're always making sure you're happy and getting along. These are some of the questions a few students may have. On average, how many people go on placement each year? Every year it varies. However, last year we had almost 30 students who went on placement. What happens if I don't get a placement? So if you don't get a placement, that's fine. You just complete your final year of studies. Do you have to relocate? This mainly depends on the company that you will be working for and where the company is located. Most of the companies are located in London or Scotland or in Surrey, so this means you may have to move if you do not want to commute every day. Do you have an entry requirement for a year in industry? At SimSAS, we don't. As long as you pass the year, you are eligible to apply for the year in industry. When can I decide if I want to do year in industry and how can I do one? So you can decide any time between now and the beginning of second year. So right now, if you are interested in doing a year in industry, you will have to apply for a maths program with the year in industry, for example, actuarial science with the year in industry. And if you haven't applied for one, then I would suggest that you email the School of Maths and let them know that you're interested in moving to the year in industry program. If you're an international student and you haven't yet picked which one to do, if you are interested in doing the year in industry, I would suggest going for the degree which allows you to do the year in industry option because this will mean your visa, require, your visa will allow you to stay here for four years. However, if you do not pick that, then it will be more difficult for you to change your mind when you're already at university and you only have your three-year visa. Will there be opportunities to meet other placement students from Kent? So when doing a year in industry, quite a lot of placement students are actually based in the same area, for example, London. So they do actually end up meeting up and socialising. But also the placement team organise events, for example, during Christmas, there'll be a Christmas drinks where you can all meet up and catch up and just talk about placement and see how everyone else is getting along. Will doing a placement here definitely improve my grade? It is not confirmed. However, from previous statistics, it has been seen that a large majority of the students do end up doing better only because the urine industry has really equipped them to working strictly and much better work ethic. Therefore, when they come back in their final year, they have a much better way of going about their assessments and tasks. At the same time, the 10% you receive from the urine industry really helps boost your grade up. Therefore, it is very likely that your grade will improve from doing the urine industry. Thank you for listening to us. And if you have any questions, please email the School of Maths. And someone will get back to you promptly. Thank you. And good luck with your exams.